Today I'm going to teach you how to create these letter portraits. We are going to be using a Canva Pro account, which is the paid version of Canva, and the process is very, very simple. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here I am in canva.com and you can select any of the doc types that we have here available to start creating this project. So I will go for Instagram post, which is a square format. Canva is now opening the Canva editor from where we are going to create this letter frame. So I already uploaded some photos, so I have them here on my uploads section. And if you haven't uploaded your photos yet, you can use the upload media button or you can also use the photos available in the Canva library, which is located below uploads. Okay, so I'm going to start with Ronnie. I'm going to bring his photo to my empty Canva and I'm going to duplicate this photo. Okay, I have two of the same photos and now I'm going to select one of the photos, go to edit image and then background remover. This background remover feature is available for Canva Pro users, the paid version of Canva. So that's why I mentioned that we were going to be using Canva Pro at the beginning of the tutorial. If you have a Canva free account and would love to try this feature or this trick, I'm going to leave you a free trial in the description of this video. Okay, we already have the photo without the background and the next step it will be to go to elements and search for letter, the letter that you would like to find and then frame. So in this case, letter R and frame. Hit enter and you can either go to graphics or stay in all. I'm gonna go to graphics so I can filter the elements and the frames. I have a couple of different versions of the R. I'm gonna bring this R and then we're going to bring this complete photo inside the frame. Okay. Once we have the photo inside the frame, we're going to double click and if you want, bring the photo right to the corner. So I'm moving it to the right and up. So we have the photo on this edge of the frame. And then if you want, you can stretch the photo so you have a portion of the subject outside of the frame. This is going to make this effect even nicer. Okay, click on done. And now what I would like to do is to make this frame bigger so we can see what we are doing. I'm going to lock it for a moment, then position forward. So I'm locking the frame, this big R, so I can work with this photo easily. Because if I don't lock it, let me show you. I'm gonna unlock it. And once I'm going to be working with this photo on top, Canva is going to bring the photo without the background inside the frame. So to avoid that, I'm going to select the R and lock it. Okay, now we are going to make this photo the same size as the one that is behind. So there is a trick for you to make this process easier. So what I do is to add some transparency to the photo without the background. Remember that we moved the photo inside the frame up and to the right, so your photo should start here on this very edge or this corner. So I'm going to position my photo in here and then I'm going to stretch the image until I see that it is perfectly aligned to the photo in the background. So I think this was pretty easy. Once your photo is aligned to the one in the back, bring back the transparency to 100 and then you can unlock the R in the background or your letter frame. Finally, just select all the elements on your page and group them. Like this, you can move them around the page and they're going to be perfectly together or attached and we're not going to have any issues there. I'm gonna teach you a last trick so you can make this letter portrait pop from your design. So once you have this part of your design ready, make it bigger like this and then go to download PNG transparent background and download. The transparent background download 
it's also available only for Canva Pro users. So this is also important to have into consideration. Once your design has been downloaded to your computer, bring it back to Canva, add a new page and bring the image that you just uploaded to page number two. Close this uploads window and now I'm gonna make it bigger, edit image and here we're going to search for shadows. See all. And now you can add a shadow effect to your letter portrait. So in this case, I prefer the option drop. I'm going to click one time to apply the effect to my letter portrait and then one more time to access the settings of the shadow. So I'm going to reduce or add more transparency so it doesn't look too harsh on the image and then if you want you can also alter or change the angle of the shadow the offset and the blur or even the color on the shadow okay so i think i'm gonna leave it like this apply and then you have your letter portrait if you want to create a complete word with this effect select a couple of letters from the word and apply the effect that we just did. For the other letters, let's go back to elements and then search for each specific letter. So you're going to use the same keyword, but just change the letter. So if I want to find the O, letter O frame, hit enter, and then you should find the frame in here. If you're going to do this trick, make sure that you are using the frame that has the same font or same style as the other letters that you already selected. Okay, so I'm going to bring the O in this case. And then what you should do is to find some other photos that have the same aesthetic or feeling as the other letters. So I just went to the library and tried to find yellow leaves and then i tried a couple of different options until i found something that looked fine on these ones so i just added the photo to my frame and then continue doing the same for the other letters and if you liked this creative hack in canva i have another tutorial that i'm sure you're gonna like and i'm gonna read one of the comments that we received on that tutorial this one is from kristen's classroom and she said incredibly helpful you guys helped my youtube channel in terms of banners and thumbnails 9k new subscribers in less than a year thank you thank you so much for leaving us this beautiful comment we're really really happy to see you succeed and i really hope that our channel help you guys many other of you succeed as well i'm gonna leave you guys that tutorial over here if you guys are interested and if you found this tutorial helpful leave us a thumbs up and i hope to see you in the next tutorial bye